Hello guys, Armagan videos here. Since you may have heard that YouTube has implemented GIF animated banners some days ago and there are already many many tutorials out there, um, I decided to do something a bit different and give you guys 5, yes, 5 animated banners for YouTube. They are easy to customize and ready to render. There are also guides and uh, layout included. I have um, opened this example right here. Let me open it right there. And yeah, I'm going to show you how to customize it, render it in After Effects and bring it into Photoshop to save it as a GIF file for YouTube. So there we go, this is basically the layout. Um, there you can uh, read the different resolutions and where your save area is. So here will your artwork be placed in, as you can read right here. Pretty basic, of course. Also the animation is pretty neat. I'd say, and there you go, you can customize the background, of course. Let's say like, where is it, solid settings. Give it another flat color, as you can see it adapts right here. I'm going to leave it like that. Also, if you go in the um, in the comp right there, you can adjust the text. Oh, at first, let me show you the animation without the layout, of course. There you go, now you can customize the animation like change the speed of it, or if you just want to change the text right here, I'm going to write on the fonts that I used for this animation in the um, description, so you can edit it, and you can go right in here and say like, subscribe and then your name or something like that. So there you go, I'm going to switch this back, go into this one. And as you can see here also this guideline, so you can adjust the artwork that you created right into these guidelines. And you can also disable them, of course. And yeah, when you're finished, you just go into this comp right here, go into composition, add to render queue, and you're gonna change, oops, best settings. Uh, yeah, now you have to kinda set the frame weight uh, to what you want. Uh, normally I leave it like 30, but uh, sometimes the data size of your render gets pretty big. And that's an issue for your GIF because um, when you're uploading it to YouTube, it must be under 2 MB. So uh, click this button, switch this down to 7, uh, 12, sorry. <laughs> click on OK. Then also click down here. I always go to QuickTime, H264, quality 100% of course. And as you can see, settings mismatch. That's because of our, uh, that's because of our resolution so what you can do here is because in many tutorials they show like use quicktime and h264 what you can do now is grab animation of course it's then lossless and a pretty big file will be created but maybe you're lucky and it works then i will go to this one call it gif render save it then render it out There we go, Jen. I just open up Photoshop. Import our rendered GIF movie there. And as you can see now, there it is, our animation. So now you just have to go, save for web, of course this will load a lot of information right now because I think also you just rendered out 4 seconds but it's completely lossless and full quality, I think this is like 200 MB big. But as you can see here's our GIF, 250 oh, KB, okay, okay, now we have to change it to GIF, also here you can define the colors, I want 128 colors, no dither. Transparency, that's all okay. Lossy zero, selective. I think adaptive. Adaptive is good right here. Also, I want this to loop forever. Save. 
Right again, GIF render GIF. There we go. Now we open up Safari. Go to my YouTube channel. Also, you can see that my banner is animated. Oh, this lags right now. Uh, because I'm recording and stuff. And this is kind of buggy here from YouTube. There we go. So then you just have to click right here. Import your data. And there you go, you can see how it works. Let's say like, maybe there's going to come an error. Error, this is because your GIF animation is too long or over 2 MB and you can't even upload it. Just try it and as you can see, it perfectly worked right here. If I'm now going to copy this one right here, go right there, go back again. It should be animated right here. Pew. There you go. Let's try it again. Yeah, man, this looks awesome right there. Okay, also this isn't the only one. Uh, I've made like many different others. Don't save right there. Wait, let me check that. There you go, there's also this one and you can customize the anchor, you can make it to a beard, a gamepad, so there's anything from gamers, let's players to lifestyle blocks and stuff. You can just adjust everything you want. Five different banners as you can see here. Oh, the font is kind of messed up. That's because I exported it from Windows, so no worries. I'm going to give you guys two perfect versions of it. Also, there's a minimalistic one I'm going to show you. Just basically switches the colors and then there's your name in the end. Pretty cool, I'd say. Uh, play animation, we already had that. Also an eye, that's pretty cool, I think. Oops, let's turn all this on. There you go. You can also animate the text, you can make the eye loop forever. Just as you want it, customize it. I just created all this for you. Okay, here I'm really converted. Abstract, hipster. Yeah, that's it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to upload this stuff and you will find the download link right in the, in the description. Sorry. And yeah, hope you enjoyed it. And also, well, this is all for you guys. And for more of this kind of stuff and tutorials, leave me suggestions in the comment, subscribe and leave a like. Hope you enjoyed it. And until the next time, Armageddon videos.